Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. We are in my bedroom. Welcome. <laughs> it is a bit of a departure from the sewing room, but that's okay. This is my peaceful sanctuary, not nearly as bright and white and all of that that you're used to. But today we are talking about uh, my trip to Boston, what I'm going to be packing, and how I'm going to get all of this stuff into just a couple of bags one small carry-on bag and um, a personal item as they call it so this is my carry-on it is not much but i have it super small like this because a lot of times when i'm traveling up and down the east coast they have those little itty bitty planes that are like two seats an aisle and one seat and even like your standard carry-on size bag they make you gate check it and I just really don't like gate checking or regular checking a bag I don't like having to wait like once I get to where I'm going I just don't like to wait I like to have all my stuff with me so whenever the plane lands I can just get off and get to where I'm going and let the fun begin so these bags are great because even in those small planes they fit in the overhead and sometimes they fit in the seat in front of you so I just sought out the cutest that I could find. <laughs> um, I think I got this at like a Home Goods or a Marshalls or something like that, probably maybe two years ago. Um, but it is on wheels, so you can pull it around and not have to carry it, which is great. And you open it up this way and pack, pack, pack. Um, so it actually is more spacious than it seems which is how I'm going to be able to get all of this in there. Okay. Oh, and then this is my personal item. So instead of just carrying a purse, I actually like make a bigger um, personal item and then put my purse in the personal item. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get going. Okay. First and foremost, probably what you guys are mostly here for is what I'll be wearing. So this is what I'm wearing today onto the plane to get to where I'm going. Um, it's linen, it's lightweight, it's flowy and breezy. It's got a um, like a raised waist seam, so it's like comfortable when you're sitting. There's like no anything getting in the way of comfort. Um, even my undergarments <laughs> are well thought out. There's no underwires. There's no, I mean, it's just, it's cute, don't get me wrong. I mean, it is an anniversary trip after all, but it is pretty basic when it comes to undergarments. Comfortable is the way to go. Also, the shoes that I'm wearing today are these, and I'll also be wearing these on the trip as well. These are kind of a little bit more substantial. They have a little bit of weight to them, and I didn't want to just pack them just for the one outfit, so I'll be wearing them to Boston, while I'm in Boston and on the way home from Boston. But that doesn't mean they're the only shoes I'm wearing. I also am packing these two for a couple of other outfits. So this is what I'm wearing to Boston on the plane right there. Tonight we will um, have dinner. So I did pack an outfit for dinner in case I wanted to change. It depends on where we go. I typically never make any of the plans. Dan does everything. I just show up. <laughs> I'm just like, where are you going? And he just takes me everywhere. He has it all worked out, which is really nice. I know I'm very, very lucky in that regard. So tonight's dinner dress option is this lovely little flutter sleeve wrap dress. Um, again, all the pattern numbers and everything are in the description box. This one's just really sweet, really romantic, and it kind of just feels like anniversary cute. But because like the highs are in the high 60s, at nighttime, I know it's going to get chilly to me. I mean, we were in New York like a month or two ago and it got chilly at night there. I'm just used to these 100 degree temperatures. So that's going to be a 40 degree differential pretty much. So I did bring a, um, or I am bringing a cute little cropped jacket. I love this jacket so much. It, um, I made it for the Style Maker Fabrics blog tour two years ago, three years ago maybe, um, and I wear it all the time. It is a blue linen, so it's not like gonna be hot, but it is gonna be a little bit more warm, just something, an extra little layer 
over um, this dress. And I thought that the like pinky purple and the navy looked really cute together. And then I also have navy slides that I can wear with the dress or I can wear these too if I want to. I have a couple of options, but I do like these. They're like a satiny, so they're kind of like a little bit more fancy, but they are flat. So like if we wanted to walk around downtown or anything, I would still be comfortable. It's not like a stiletto or anything super, super uncomfortable. Um, I, while I'm talking you through this, I'm gonna be packing. I love a packing cube. I have these, they are a set of three. They came from Marshalls, $10. The sticker's still on there. I like packing cubes because they kind of just like keep everything really organized, but also like keep everything smooshed down. Like this is a lot of stuff, but when you get it in the packing cube, I don't know, it takes out all the air or something and it makes it much smaller. So I take my clothes and roll them. I am a roller. Um, again, I just think it allows for more space. So you roll it like that and then you just shove it in one of the sides. Same thing with the linen. Fold it over and just start rolling. And it looks like it would make it really wrinkly, but it kind of doesn't. I don't know how. It's magic. Um, the shoes will stay separate so I can leave those out. Okay, so tomorrow is our like sightseeing day. So I'm going for layers because we'll probably leave in the morning or it'll be chilly and then it'll get warmer at night, I mean in the day and then cooler at night again. So I have white jeans. White jeans after Labor Day, you guys, is totally fine. I don't know that I would wear like a whole white dress or like white jeans and a white top. But I think white jeans are okay, especially if what you pair it with feels kind of more like fall. Um, so anyways, these white jeans are from Old Navy. They're available now. They're their rock star super skinny. They work for me because the fabric is so stretchy. So I was able to size down like two sizes to get it to fit my waist. And then the fabric is so stretchy that it kind of just fits over my hips. Um, which is how I was able to kind of get it to fit everywhere. This top is an itch to stitch top that I made out of chambray. So white and chambray, I think is a super classic combination. I mean, white and blue. Um, so I'll have this, it's kind of like loose too. So it'll look really cute with the skinnies. So I'll have that. And then to layer all of this, I actually have a vest that I found at Goodwill. So I didn't make it, but it is like a recycled garment, new to me. It's this super cute little vest with these huge patch pockets, which by the way are also really great because you don't really need a purse. You know what I'm saying? Like you can put your phone in here, you could put your hotel key in here. I'll talk a little bit more about my wallet, but you could fit this little guy in there and that is all you need. Um, so I do like the patch pockets for that reason. So this will go in, rolled up as well. I've almost got all the clothes in this one big one, but let's maybe use one of the, I'll reserve this small, small one for undergarments. So, which I'm not gonna talk to you guys about. You just pack your bra and panties. <laughs> um, okay. So then for dinner tomorrow night, if I, if we decide to go somewhere nice, I have this as an option. I never wear this. I don't really know why. Um, on the front, it seems like really basic. It's ponty knit, super comfortable. And the back has this really, really pretty lace. Again, anniversary trip, thinking like romance and you know, all those feelings is why I chose this one. And I'll be able to wear that navy linen jacket over it as well, which will be nice. And if I'm wearing the navy linen jacket, then I can re-wear these navy sandals. Cool. So now I've got all these clothes. Oh, one more outfit. Um, the ride home. So it's a short trip. We like short trips. We would rather take many little trips than one or two big ones. I don't like being away from home that long. I don't like being away from Sonny that long. I have to board him, it gets expensive. So we take short trips. 
Um, so for that, I have these new pants that I sewed. You guys saw this in my makes video. I mean, I told you in the video, secret pajamas. So they're perfect for traveling. They don't wrinkle because they are like IT white knit or something. Um, and they're just super, super, super comfortable. So I'll be wearing these with a plain white tee, just a little white t-shirt. So again, nice, light, comfortable. Um, that day I'll be coming back, you know, from like, we'll have the morning, the flight isn't until the afternoon. We'll have the morning, um, which we probably won't schedule much for, but I'll be coming back into like the blistering heat. So I don't want to be like all layered up um, and have to come back into the super hot heat. Okay, so I've got all those clothes into these two packing cubes. And actually, there's kind of room to grow. So that's good. See how compact they all get? That's how I'm able to just slide them on in to my luggage. Like so. So I'll put one in the back one in the front voila and i have room for this guy which is going to have all my bras and panties um it's not that many but <laughs> all of that in here and that'll go right here and all of my clothes fit then on top of that will be my sandals like so cool and then i still have this front pocket these two pockets in the front here this pocket and this pocket and there's pockets on the side so even Another good idea would be to put the sandals on the side. So let's do that. Sandals on the side make a lot of sense. Open up the quality space on the inside. Okay, okay I'll get that in better later. Okay, so that pretty much takes us through the clothing aspect of everything. Here are all of my accessories. I got this really cute accessory holder from, oh man, Pottery Barn? Pottery Barn. So I went to Pottery Barn, saw these in their like little bedroom section. They were $80. I was like, no, I'm not paying $80 for that. So I went on to eBay and was able to get it for like 30 bucks. Somebody bought one, didn't use it, got it as a gift, didn't like it, whatever. So again, another repurposed gift that somebody might have just thrown away, I was able to get it um, for cheaper. But it's really cool because you have a little spot to hold your rings. This little section here holds all of your earrings. I have like hair ties and stuff like that in here. And then this back panel holds four necklaces and they all kind of gather in this little thing here so they don't get like tangled up. This thing is awesome. I really, really, really love it. I highly recommend getting either this one or one like it. They're awesome. So that'll lay right in there. Um, I've also got my gift. Don't tell him. Um, I made it in a way. It's kind of like a handmade gift. So that'll have to go in here. Then I have all of my vitamins. This is what I normally um, keep my vitamins in. But because I'm only going for three days, I only have tonight is one dose, two doses tomorrow, and another dose on Tuesday morning. So that's only a total of four. I don't need to carry this whole huge thing. So I have a smaller one, looks like this, that has seven spots in it, one for each day of the week, but I'll just remember to take them in order. Um, and then I will put my four, day, my four doses worth in these. And then these three, I can put stuff like, I get migraines sometimes, so I can put some migraine medicine in there. I need to take Dramamine because I get air sick. So I can put some Dramamine in there and just use these other three for um, extras. So I will slide that in here as well. Um, then I have this little guy might be kind of hard to see because it's packed in really nicely, but this is all of my hair stuff. So I have this itty bitty hair straightener. How cool is that? This thing gets really, really hot. I have a lot of hair and it straightens it wonderfully while I'm away. Good enough. Then I've got a travel hairbrush, a travel comb and a travel razor. And then over here, I've got my travel deodorant. And this is all of my, let's not spill all of this. This is all of my makeup brushes. Um, it's just a little roll up like so. 
Um, one day, I will probably try and make my own. I saw that buyany.com has um, some kind of case where you can store makeup brushes. So I might try that, but I do like this one because it's just so compact and it fits beautifully in this guy. So this whole thing gets zipped up. And this case, it was a gift. Um, I got it whenever we stayed at the W Hotel in Montreal and it's like a hard pack. So whatever you put in there isn't gonna get broken or crushed. I actually stole Dan's <laughs> too and I use that for like all of my travel um, chargers and all the like tech stuff that I need to bring goes in this one. So um, because none of this is liquid, all of this can go in here as well. You see what we're doing? We're just building and stacking. Um, what else is going to go in here? Is that it? I have my, these are my vitamins. Um, I use this machine called a Tespo machine and it basically mixes powder with liquid, kind of like a Keurig would, um, but it's vitamins. So you get vitamins without all the fillers. Like these vitamins don't come this way, otherwise I would buy them. But this is like stuff to help me sleep. It doesn't like put me to sleep, but it does just like turn off my mind, quiet everything down, and kind of lull me into sleep, and it keeps me to sleep. It has like melatonin and stuff like that in there. So I bring this, um, when you don't have your machine, it comes with this little like travel thing that like punches a hole into the packaging for you. And then you like tap it into a bottle of water. So again, that's just powder. Um, and I can put that in here as well. And I think that's going to do it for the actual, um, like carry on bag. Okay. So we've got that guy ready to go, right? All right, so now we have my, I'll be wearing these, putting these into the little thing, I can move that. Now we have my personal item. So things that I need to have in the seat in front of me would be my computer. Well, also because, not necessarily like I'll be working on my computer, but when I go through the um, security line, I don't want to open up that bag and have everybody see all my underwear and like all the stuff that I brought. Like I want to open up something that doesn't have any real personal stuff in it at all. So I will leave that completely closed. That goes through the conveyor belt as is. And then you have to take out your computer so I can open up this bag and easily take out my computer and put that in its own separate bin. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you just don't want security people like, I don't know, in your personal stuff. So the computer goes in, then I have all of my tech stuff that I already told you guys about. So that goes in here also. And then this is all of my toiletries. Another item that you don't really want to pack in your main bag because again, you don't want people like rifling through all of your personal belongings, but you do need to take this out when you go to security. So I put it in its own separate bag and then put that bag in my personal item. So that goes in here as well. And then, like I said, I pack my purse, which seems silly, but you gotta have a purse when you're on vacation and um, you can't have another bag. Like I can only have one personal item. So I will pack my purse. And then things that go in my purse when I travel, like I have a bigger bag that just like a ton of stuff goes in and I carry it around with me and it's way too heavy and there's way too much stuff there. Um, so I condense it down a lot. So I will bring my sunglass case with my sunglasses in there. They're in the car right now, um, but I will pack them. I'll put them in here like so. This is my wallet that I normally carry that has all of my like rewards cards and receipts and like way, way, way too much stuff to bring on a trip. So I will scoot out my license, which is mandatory and one debit card, credit card, whatever you need to get through your trip and any incidentals that you might have. That gets slid in here. And then all of these guys also get removed. And that way you only have two cards in this cute little carrying case. If you wanted to get cash, 
You could also put that in here and then it has a little outer pocket where you can put like your boarding pass and things like that. So that'll go in here as well and all of this stays home. Do you think some of you guys would have a hard time leaving behind some stuff? It is a little weird at first because you're like, how can I live without my this thing or my that thing? But honestly, like once you get there, what do you really need that's in your wallet? You need a license and you need money and <laughs> that's it. So if you think about it, you can really leave a lot of stuff at home that you would normally never leave home with if you were in and around town, which I get because, you know, when you're around town, you might pop into this place or that place and, you know, you want to have everything that you could possibly need. But when you're traveling somewhere, like you really don't need much. Okay, so lip gloss goes in here as well. Again, not a liquid, so no big deal. My phone will go in here. Um, and I think that that is going to do it, guys. We did it with room to grow, actually. I have like a lot of room in here. So this becomes my personal item. Ta-da, so cute. Has a great little strap to make it nice and comfortable. I also put a um, like a stabilizing acrylic bottom on here, but it's nice and flat. So it can also sit on top of my carry-on bag. If we can imagine this with this guy up and that it's on a bed, so bear with me, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You do like this number and it's all compact into one. You don't have like stuff laying everywhere, getting in everyone's way. Um, and that is how I pack for a quick little getaway to Boston or I'll probably pack similar to this whenever I go to New Orleans. But um, let me know if you found this video helpful or interesting. I know it's a little different. It had like a little bit of sewing, but also a little bit of like lifestyle, life tricks, life hacks in there too. So let me know if you found any of this helpful and be sure to follow me on my social media. I'll be sharing some pictures and some Instagram stories and things like that while I'm on my trip. Um, so you can kind of follow along with me and see kind of how we're spending our time there. If you live in Boston, or know the Boston area very well, let me know if there's any fabric stores or notion shops or anywhere that I need to go sewing wise. Relying on you guys to help me out with that. Um, and I guess other than that, I gotta take Sunny to the border. I gotta, the border, not like, <laughs> not like the border of America, but the B-O-A-R-D-E-R, -E like where he stays overnight. <laughs> and then I've got to get some lunch and then I've got to get to the airport and go. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.